What's up guys, how you doing? I hope you are well. Welcome to today's video. So a video with a difference and it's a day earlier than normal. Today is Tuesday and that's because this is the first video of a mini series that I'm going to try to run called Gear and Tips Tuesdays. You might have guessed it, it's going to be about gear, it's going to include a load of tips and it's always going to be on Tuesdays. The idea being this will be a mini series that we run alongside the main um, videos which currently on a Wednesday, it might be that we move the day of the main videos, we'll see how we go, nothing's determined just yet and today is the first one of these mini videos. They will be shorter, they might not always be about sports photography but don't worry the majority they probably will be about sports photography now today's video i put out a video last wednesday um all to do with following me along shooting some professional basketball and i got a lot of questions about one specific aspect to that video where i briefly showed uh, you guys when I was setting up my remote uh, camera and I got a couple of questions through my, my Twitter um, DM and my Instagram DM. If you want to follow me on those, check it out, the link's in the description. And people ask me, what do I then put that floor remote onto? So that's what this video is about today. Now, I did an old video, an old, old video, where I showed you guys a floor remote that I used to set up, like using like a couple of batteries in a, in a tape roll. And I used to do that up to just recently. But more recently, I moved to using something a little bit different, which I just found to be a lot more versatile. And that is this right here. This is the Joby Gorillapod. Now, you can get a couple of different Gorillapods. Um, this is the slightly stronger rated one. You can get, I think, a one kilo one as in it's rated up to being able to hold one kilo's worth of gear. This is the three kilo, three kilograms. I think if you guys are going to be using any kind of decent sized DSLR um, with a lens on it, you probably would need to think about the three kilogram one. It's not too much more expensive. If you're interested in having a look at this, go check it out. I'll put the link in the description below. Go check it out on Amazon um, and see what you think of it. But at the moment now, I use this for all of my basketball floor remotes. The reason being is it just gives you so much versatility. Now, when you buy this, it comes in two bits. You can buy it as a kit where you get the actual Gorilla Pod um, and also the ball head that screws on the top, or you can buy them separately. I'd really recommend the ball head just because it makes the angles so much easier. But what I do with this Gorilla Pod is I fold it out and kind of curve the legs so it's almost into kind of this shape here, like a giant ninja star kind of thing. The idea being that that then makes it really stable on the floor. And I put the ball head, obviously that screws on the top. And then that means that I've got the opportunity to make the angle wherever I want it to be. I could put it right in close by the basket where it's really steep and looking up under the rim. I can be further out in the corner with a less steep sort of wide angle view all different bits you can do with it but i find it works really really well let me quickly show you guys what it looks like i'm um, set up on the floor there you go guys that's the actual setup you can see with the legs splayed out like that it just makes it so stable you can adjust it all different angles so i can get it really steep and looking up towards the basket um, or i could get it slightly more wider angle over in the corner as well of course with the trigger on top just makes it really stable and easy to use. And that's it guys, that's the floor remote set up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, slightly different format, shorter video. If you did enjoy it, please do hit that like button, give me the thumbs up. If you haven't already, please, please do think about subscribing. Loads more videos like this to come and hopefully we should have them coming twice a week now for the next few weeks, including this little mini series that we're trying to do right here. I think that's pretty much it. The only other thing to say is Please don't forget, Sunday the 2nd of June, 8pm UK time, uh, I will be doing a live Q&A on my YouTube channel. We'll be streaming it live. Please do come along and join in on that one. The more people, the merrier, and I think it could be really good. I'll say it again, Sunday the 2nd of June, 8pm UK time. In the meantime, guys, thank you very much for watching. My next video will be another one of my main videos, which hopefully um, will be in the next few days. I'll see which day we're going to do it. But guys, in the meantime, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.